Okay, this is just a quick video on a also MF200 firearm panel. Uh, it's a panel which I've uh, sort of restored. I've uh, put two fuses in it, I've connected these battery connectors to it, and, and now it kind of works perfectly. Also, I'm going to point out I got this firearm panel from the security guy along with a uh, telephone rental 1102, which is in the garage. You'll be seeing that soon. And a, uh, a ray called PIR and a pyrene heat sector. And also lots of pyro cable. Um, so yeah, I fixed this panel up, and uh, but I'm going to point out that it's not going to remain in the collection. I'm going to be giving this panel away. I'm going to give it to Calibrook Nicholson. But uh, just make sure that it works, and it you now works perfectly. So I'm going to demonstrate it. So I've got the fully universal call point. I haven't used this in ages, so it's nice to see this something running it again. Let's just try it out. Reset that. So yeah, it works perfectly now, it works properly. And I've got the Sony sound one as well, which is very good. Um, also, uh, this panel does have class change. You can use a switch and, or maybe even a non-resistant call point to operate it. But uh, this is kind of what's required really. It takes a while for it to activate though, unlike some other panels with class change. The code on this one is, uh, unlike the JSP, this one's the other way around, it's 2113, but uh, it now works. So, uh, it's just a quick video of a panel. Um, as I said, it's not for the Iranian collection, I'm getting rid of this, but um, I'm only doing this video. I just, I just wanted to make sure this panel works, which it does, after I've restored it. Let's just uh, open it up. So you go inside, I've uh, put in those two fuses, I've uh, added something on top of that with a bit of blue tack because the contacts didn't quite reach that switch there, so it really has done it. So main terminal, battery connectors, they don't need to be long. Uh, unfortunately over the buzzer on this one doesn't work. I'm like, I could try and fix it but I don't think it really needs it really. So, uh, so I'm going to end the video there, so I'm going to thank you all for watching.